I'd been exposed to many fires of different size and magnitude during my 30 years plus in CFA, but the 7th of February 2009 would be my day of days. After days of preparation and training for the expected weather, the day had arrived. Our groups, brigades and incident control centres were ready. A 7 o'clock start, no wind, yet. Getting hot quickly. I remember thinking, what a great day to be on the bay fishing. But I knew the worst was yet to come. The upper winds were mixing and would come down to ground level later in the day from the northwest. Working in the regional emergency control centre again today. The fire had been burning in the Bunyip State Forest for a number of days. It was expected to break out once the winds had arrived. Then the first call for assistance came. District 8 needed strike teams, so I started sending them, one after the other, until five from the district had gone. This all before midday. Then, just before midday, a fire started outside of Kilmore. It was growing rapidly. On its current path, it would impact the district. Trucks started moving out towards the fire as it approached. Spotting and fire growth was like nothing I'd seen before. The forest fire was not meant to move this fast. Calls for help became a means to track the fire. And then the wind changed. Our flank became our front. And the fire raged towards King Lake and many other townships. Our brave crews were trying everything they could to stop Mother Nature in her fuel fury. But they were powerless. Then the call came over the radio. Mayday, mayday. We had an accident and our truck is stuck. The fire is coming and we can't get out. All the team stopped, listened, held our breath. Which crew? Where were they? How could we save them? No aircraft available. That sinking feeling of helplessness. Minutes go by, again. Mayday, mayday. All units stopped radio traffic and listened. The crew was screaming for help. Frantic radio traffic between Vic Fire, the district and the crew took place. A call to any units to assist if they were able went out. Then a crew answers. We'll give it a go to get them. This brave crew must travel along a road impacted by fire for 15 or more minutes before they reached the truck crew. Silence, followed by more silence. And the radio cracks. We've got them on our truck and we're heading to Coldstream Fire Station. Ambulance is arranged to meet them when they arrived. And I rushed out to meet the crews as well. This story is amazing. How they got through, I will never know. But they shrug their shoulders and say, Someone would have done it for us. It's no big deal. Not a big deal, this humble crew of heroes. Acts like this were many on the day. And the reason this family we call CFA is such a fantastic family to be part of. Especially on this day of days. <laughs>